morning. I have a really big day today. It's a chores day. So I have spent the last week in the foothills of the salt flats. So the salt flats are down there. And then this is what the foothills look like. And it is finally time for me to leave. <laughs> I cannot get out of here fast enough. This place sucks. It is the windiest place I have ever been in my life. <laughs> Peeing was an adventure because, you know, you can put two and two together. Wind and, you know. I have to do all of this stuff today. Yes, some of it is groceries, like actual lists, but it's still a lot. I have to shower, I have to upload videos, I have to go grocery shopping, I have to get gas. Uh, dump my trash so it's gonna be a fun filled day <laughs> and on top of that camp is over three hours away so I have to kind of move swiftly today $45 for three quarters of a tank. I threw away most of my trash, so successful gas stop. I made it to Walmart. I just realized I forgot ice. <laughs> so I think I have to go back in and get it. I faced my fears and I went back and got ice. <laughs> so much better <laughs> uh next stop is library so i can upload my videos um that is gonna take a couple hours <laughs> Camera SD card. Okay, success. I 
survived. <laughs> I think I spent three hours in there, over three hours. Okay, so next is gas again <laughs> and then after that I placed an order at Cafe Rio which is the best like it's kind of like a Chipotle yeah I'd say it's a Chipotle but their quesadillas are so good and yeah they don't have Cafe Rios everywhere so I had to order it plus I'm starving plus I still have two hours to drive to camp after this Since I couldn't come up with a good solution before this would get cold, I'm, I just moved my spot into like the back of the parking lot. <laughs> so excited. I'm gonna get this all over me, I feel like. Uh. I have finished the meal, actually. Usually when I get this particular meal, I have to like put half of it in the fridge. Um, but also, um, when I'm car camping, I don't really like like to have leftovers. It's just another like headache. I only the only way I do leftovers is if I cook for two days and split it. So like I'm obviously gonna like have leftovers and I'll just like cook the rest the next day and it's really easy. But I usually like if I'm gonna eat mac and cheese, I'm gonna try to eat all of it. And one, I don't eat as much as I probably, like a normal person probably does doing this. So like it's fine for me to eat like a whole box of mac and cheese. And second, like where am I gonna put the trash? Like say there's like five bites left. I'd rather just power through and eat those five bites than throw them outside because that'll attract animals and you're not supposed to do that, leave no trace. Um, or m my trash is gonna start smelling like mac and cheese and I just like don't want that. So I usually just eat everything and I just power through it. <laughs> so for camp, I found a reservoir in uh, Preston, Idaho. And that's where I'm gonna go check out, or I'm gonna go check it out. Um, apparently you can camp along the edges and hopefully there's not too many people there. And if there are, or if I just don't get a good vibe, there's a place nearby that I also could camp at, so. One hour and 56 minutes to go. GoPro wouldn't turn on when I crossed into Idaho. I'm so sad, but I'm in Idaho now. Yay. For a second, I thought I was going in the wrong direction because <laughs> it was a dirt road with just a bunch of houses on it. Okay, update on the situation. I decided to leave. <laughs> um, there were just like some people fishing and it seemed like a pretty like peaceful, small and area. So I'm moving on. There's a reservoir like 10 minutes away and from the satellite map, it looked like there was a lot more room. But I could like pull up and it wouldn't be as like awkward and obvious that I'm like sleeping there. 
there weren't any signs that said I couldn't sleep there. It was just like, they were just fishing me right there. And there was not much space. So. The other place looks like there's more space. That's all I'm trying to say. Hopefully. When I find myself on roads like this, I just question if I'm like trespassing. <laughs> in fact not trespassing so that's cool i'm almost there there's like one car here i'm gonna go to the end. i'm gonna see how far i can go I found like a little pull off on the side of the road. So I'm just gonna chill here. I might, this might just be camp. The only way it wouldn't be is if that car moves and I decide to go move wherever parked. I don't know if I've ever stepped foot in Idaho before. This might be my first time officially. I've driven through it. I've driven from Bozeman, Montana, the Salt Lake City, but I don't know if I ever like got out. It's finally not windy. Okay, well, thank you for coming on my chores day with me. Um, is that it? <laughs> it might be it. Might be all I was gonna say. I'm probably gonna chill in my front seat for a while. <laughs> I guess I could easily go in the back seat. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I guess you know what it's like to, I guess just run errands, <laughs> which is like at least one day per week, if not more. Um, and when you've thrown all those errands combined with driving, almost four hours to find camp it's a lot <laughs> but I got everything that I needed to do done today so I would say today was a pretty successful day I guess I'll see you in the next one